Okay, here we are for another painting tutorial, and this is going to be hopefully the first of many uh, doing the cities, new Cities of Sigmar color scheme um, with contrast paint uh, and maybe with some speed paint thrown in there. Um, I've been using the new metallic speed paint recently, and it's been excellent. Um, I will just say up front, I might say this in the beginning of every one of the next couple videos, um, I did have a video a while ago where I talked about the reactivation issue for speed paint 1.0. Um, as far as I know, that was never resolved. The speed paint I used, it would constantly reactivate if you painted on top of it or had anything on top of it. That, as far as I can tell from the testing of 2.0, that has been resolved at least in 2.0. I don't know if they're rebottling 1.0 and resolving it in then also. But at least for 2.0, which is where all the metallics are, no reactivation issue. So, let's go ahead and start, not with speed paint though, with contrast paint. And we're going to start with Croxagore scales. Oh, I should say, I'm sure you've seen it in the title, but this is Vindicarum that we are painting here. So I just have the shield attached to my handy dandy magnet stick, otherwise known as an Allen wrench. And we're going with Croxagore scales for the background here. And I'm just going to be careful to avoid these metallic parts. Um, normally, you could just paint kind of over top of the metallic parts because you're going to paint over it with metallic paint. But because we're going to try the speed paint to make this process as quick as possible, we want to avoid this. And it's not difficult because these are... All the metallic parts are raised, so you can just kind of bring your brush right up to the edge of it. And you won't have any trouble at all. So the idea of this series is just to uh, give you some quick and dirty options for painting these different cities. Um, the paint schemes on the GW website and the community page and stuff look really good, but... I bet they take a lot of different colors and some blending and all sorts of fun stuff. But if I'm painting 60 humans, I'm not trying to be blending on every shield. At least not, uh, not with traditional paints. So I'm going to have figured out the contrast method to get these paint schemes down. And hopefully that will help you out. So I will let that dry, um, and I really do mean let that dry. Sometimes I say let that dry, and then I come back and it's still wet. But I am going to let this dry for real. Then we will come back and do the diamond in the middle. All right, we are back, and our Croxagore scales is nice and dry. Now we're going to go on to Hoplite Gold. This is one of the Speed Paint 2.0, as you see, uh, the metallics. I've already gotten some out here on a palette, and this is going to be for the central square here. And this lays down incredibly smooth, as you can see. Um, I will try to move my brush more or less in the same direction every time to try to, you know, just help it be smooth and consistent. Um... I am obviously going back and forth here, but in each uh, each pass, I'm moving in the same direction. So there we go. Then I'm just going to come onto the side here and make sure I grab the edges of this rectangle or diamond or square or whatever it is and on a flat surface like this there's a I think I'm gonna do another layer while I'm talking um, on a flat surface like this there's no real advantage to using speed paint versus just regular metallic paint um, I just figured I would use it to show that you can get a nice 
smooth, consistent finish uh, with no issues. So now we're going to move on to Talos Bronze. This is going to be for the trim at the top there. This is our kind of rich, rich reddish bronzy color. Maybe a little too dark now that I look at it. Let me get, you know, I said I was going to use that. I'm actually going to get some, some brazen copper and hoard bronze out also and just see which one I like the best. Bronze, brazen copper is also very dark. So let's see about Horde Bronze. Let's get a little bit of this out. It's also very dark. Okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna stick with our original. This doesn't need to be a perfect match by any stretch. Um, I'm just trying to match it as best I can. So this is a Talos Bronze. What I, what I said I was going to start with, and then I second guessed myself, and then I ended up back here. So I guess the lesson is don't second guess yourself. But in any event, I'm just going to finish this up. I'm going to let everything dry, and then I will come back and we will do the rivets. Alrighty, we're back, and we're going to move on to polished silver now. This is the brightest of the silvers in the speed paint line. And we're just going to be very careful now and just get a little bit of this on each one of these rivets or screw heads or whatever they are. There we go. And um, I will say I'm painting these off of the render that Games Workshop posted um, on the community page, which I will link in the or in the uh, description. Um, the actual paint jobs on the models are a little different, but I actually like the renders more. They give you a like. You know, this is blue. This is green. Um, the the heavy metal paint jobs are a little more involved, obviously. But we don't need to replicate heavy metal with contrast because, you know, that's a exercise in futility. But if we can replicate the sort of cartoony essence of each city, then that's good enough for me. So there's our enchanted... What did I say? Polished silver on there. So now we're going to let this dry completely. Um, and then we're going to take some Agrax Earthshade and shade it down. And then we'll pop the transfer on there. And that'll be about done. But uh, I'll let this dry and then come back and do that Agrax Earthshade. Alrighty, we're back and everything is nice and dry. I'm just going to go on to the last color, Agrax Earthshade here. Give it a nice shake. I'm going to get my brush wet and get some Agrax here and just brush it on to the whole shield. I'm going to start with the, the blue-green parts here because I want to see what this is going to look like. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Then I'm going to just brush it on to the gold parts. And the bronze. It'll darken this bronze up just a little bit too. That will really help uh, help make it look good, I think. And we'll get the top here. Obviously, I'm not painting the back of the shield. Um, you know, the front is the most important part. All right, and there is our finished shield. Apart from the transfer, uh, I'll put that on separately. I assume people are familiar with how to apply transfers. If not, uh, leave me a comment and let me know, and I'll...
be happy to show it on camera. I have done it on camera in the past, um, but if people haven't don't aren't aware of how to uh, put transfers on, I'm happy to do it. And maybe I'll just toss it in one of the other videos. Who knows? But uh, yeah, right about now, you should be seeing the finished product. And uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to subscribe, subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button, and I will see you on the next one.